Mikhail Makar is changing hockey as we know it. Since being drafted in 2017 by the Colorado Avalanche, Makar has made a tremendous impact on the NHL. He recently became the second fastest defenseman ever to score 300 points after none other than the great Bobby Orr. Kale McCarr is the next superstar defenseman in the NHL after Bobby Orr, Paul Coffey, Nicholas Lidstrom, and Eric Carlson. While hockey fans recognize McCarr for his outstanding offensive abilities, it's the other parts of his game that have put him on pace to become one of the best defensemen to ever play at the beautiful game. The NHL is at the highest league-wide scale level we have ever seen. While superstar level players have always been present, the overall quality of hockey players that exist in the NHL today is much more advanced than the athletes that played the game 20 or 30 years ago. Due to this improved league quality, NHL hockey is becoming a game of systems. This is especially obvious when teams are on the defensive side of the puck. Many NHL clubs implement a 2-2-1 or a 2-1-2 forechecking system which helps pressure the puck carrier and limit breakout options. This is where Makar's skating ability shines. By using his edge work, Makar is able to evade pressure from oncoming forecheckers. For example, on this play, the puck bounces straight into Kale McCarr's feet. For most defensemen, with a four-checker such as Kirill Kaprizov barreling down on you, this would guaranteed be an offensive chance for the Minnesota Wild. But with McCarr, he's able to quickly corral the puck over to his stick and then button hook a turn away from Kaprizov, displaying his absolutely tremendous skating ability and edge work to evade four checks. By combining his skating with his overall defensive zone awareness, Makar is able to become a one-man breakout and frustrate opposition forwards. This ability allows Makar to single-handedly change the momentum on ice shift to shift as teams cannot set up in Colorado's end when Makar is on the ice and has the puck. Makar has the hockey IQ to know when to join the rush versus when to hang back because other star players are on the ice for the opposition. Makar picks and chooses specific opportunities for when to join the rush and knows when there's mismatches between Colorado's players on the ice and the opposing team's on ice quality. The next part of Makar's game that makes him exceptional is his hockey IQ on the defensive side of the puck. By using efficient head scans and timing, Makar is able to identify any offensive zone threats and put himself in a high percentage position to be effective in breaking up or ending the attacking play. For example, on this rush, Makar takes away the initial passing lane by pressuring the puck carrier, then throws himself backwards, sliding through the entire passing lane, blocking the pass as well as the shot that are available for Goudreau. While Makar's skating abilities makes him stand out on the defensive side of the puck, it's the way he uses his speed and ice coverage in the most efficient way possible to be effective for the Avalanche. While Makar's defensive zone play flies under the radar at times, it is truly what enables him to make the dazzling offensive zone plays that end up on all the highlight reels. By transitioning defensive plays into offense, Makar is able to create chances out of nothing. When combining his world-class edges and agility with his elite decision-making, lightning quick hands, and ultra-intelligent shot selection, Makar is always a threat whenever he has the puck. Makar uses a downhill attacking style, meaning as soon as he gains an inch of space from the defending forward, he turns the corner and attacks all the open space given to him. Makar is a constant triple threat when he has the puck, which makes him nearly impossible to defend. This shines through, especially when many NHL forwards do not have the defensive capabilities to shut down Kale Makar's brilliance. Before breaking into the NHL, Kale Makar was a standout in NCAA collegiate hockey, winning the Hobie Baker Award for the most valuable college hockey player across the country in 2019. Makar made an immediate impact for the Avalanche in his first season, winning the Calder Trophy in 2020. By 2022, 
Makar was able to put together an all-time season by a defenseman, breaking the Avalanche slash Nordiques franchise record for both goals with 28 and points with 86 in a single season at just the age of 23 years old. Makar followed up this fabulous season performance by leading his team to the Stanley Cup Finals and eventually the championship, winning a Conn Smythe Trophy in the process. Makar became the first player ever to win the Hobie Baker, Norris Trophy, and Conn Smythe in their career. He also joined an ultra-elite club of NHL defensemen to win the Norris and Conn Smythe in a single season, joining Bobby Orr and Nicholas Lidstrom. Makar also joined Bobby Orr and Serge Savard as the only defenseman to win the Conn Smythe at 23 years old or younger. The following season, Makar produced 66 points in 60 games, but due to five separate injuries, he was not able to put up the same point totals he had the previous season. While the Colorado Avalanche only managed to make it to the second round of the playoffs last year, Makar and his team produced an honorable Stanley Cup defense, in spite of having an injury-ridden season. Makar is having another outstanding season in 2023-24, producing at 1.2 points per game. He is on pace for just under 100 points. After seeing Eric Carlson score that much last season, it's likely that Makar was inspired and challenged to match that level of offensive production. He would easily be the front runner for the Norris Trophy this year if it wasn't for a career year performance from Vancouver Canucks captain Quinn Hughes, who is also on the same scoring pace. As Makar continues along the NHL path, it is obvious that he is destined for greatness. The question now comes down to whether or not he will finish his career alongside a handful of other all-time great NHL defensemen, or if he will climb to the top of the NHL Mount Rushmore of defense. Only time will tell. But one thing remains certain. Kale Makar's style of play will impact the upcoming generations of NHL caliber defensemen for decades to come as they model their game after him. That's it for this one. Where do you think Kale McCarr will finish his career when it comes to all-time NHL defensemen? Let us know in the comments below.